Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for the Battle of the Bands tonight? But first, you can't start things off without starting off right. Who's ready for the joke of the week? How are you guys ready? Oh, who's ready? You know, they asked me to do this musical show, but uh, I had to turn them down because they wouldn't pay me scale. I love this crowd. All right, give it up for yourself. You're wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight, Katie's Skelton! Hey everyone, and welcome to the special. I'm your host, Katie Skelton. You know me as music critic for Trunk Magazine, spokesperson for Rubis Cube, and as the host of MTV 3s Shockwave, the late night block of new and experimental music. And tonight, I'm here to bring you a very special event to all you lo-fi, avant-garde, and indie music fans out there. Because tonight, four musical guests duke it out in a DIY style, Battle of the Bands! Yes! All right! Amazing. And you guys better believe that we're sponsored by some incredible brands like Pitchfork, Topshop, Ray-Ban, Rubis Cube, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, and of course, we're streaming live on Viceland's Facebook Live page. Oh, and for those of you at home who are watching on your mobile devices, be sure to click the ad banner for a chance to win a Glossier unisex starter pack of unscented creams and lotions. I promise you, your skin has never felt this good. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe the talent we have here today. Four incredible NYC-based artists will be competing against each other for the ultimate prize, a record contract with none other than Detroit-based label Third Man Records. Yeah. And speaking of, I, uh, I think it's time for me to introduce your celebrity judge, who will determine the winner of this epic battle. He's an innovator, a legend, and front man of the White Stripes. Everyone give it up for Jack White! Yeah. Jack, wow. Jack White, everyone. Uh, Jack, uh... <laughs> It's an honor to have you here. Is there um, anything you want to say to our musical artists tonight? Any words of wisdom? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jack White is a man of a uh, few words. <laughs> anyway, uh, you guys, I'm uh, really, really excited to introduce to you guys our, uh, our first band. It's, uh, they're really amazing. This, this legit punk group hails from New Brunswick, New Jersey. And uh, lead singer Chris Evanhalen's wild antics are responsible for the closing of both other music and the Acheron in the past few months. It's spelled with three Z's and in all caps, everyone give it up for Bananas! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a real treat to to have you guys here today. Bananas, of course, uh, you're world famous for your uh, insane behavior on Apparently stage. Apparently not. <laughs> First off, my name is Craig Evan Halen. What did I say? Craig. 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 You said Chris. Chris, I'm so sorry. Second, I also closed Palisades. <laughs> of course, how could I forget? And third, labels are stupid. I don't have any. Wow. Okay. I'm Darren, by the way. <laughs> it's uh, really, really nice to meet you guys. And I'm super excited to see what you guys are going to be performing tonight for Jack White. So, uh, Darren, what, what's this stuff? You said it's a battle, so I wanted to be able to defend myself. Where did you get this stuff? I got it out of the garbage. Uh, I don't need it? Well, you, you won't need it. Oh, thank God! <laughs> That's... I got these weapons, though. <laughs> you actually won't need those either. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, but I brought you here as a, an act of public shaming. <laughs> uh, I am happy to announce that Bananas, all caps, three Zs, is no more. 
What do you mean? What the fuck? Again? You guys are fired. <laughs> what? Oh. What time is this over? It's over at midnight. I'll wait. Give me a ride. <laughs> Don't wait. Just go, go home. But Craig, how are you going to get home? <laughs> okay, wait. You're scared of the subway. I'm not scared of the subway. And the bus. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I'll wait outside. See you later. <coughs> Fuck you, Craig. Oh. Um, Craig, wow, I'm I'm shocked, really. I can't believe that you just fired your band here on live television. Mm -hmm. uh, well, when in the spotlight, I kind of do crazy things. <laughs> wow, uh, are you planning on performing solo for Battle of the Bands? No. No. Uh, once again, your labels, I find them uh, really constricting. Wow. Uh, give me land, lots of land from the starry size above. Don't fence me in, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to constrict you, Craig. I, uh, I okay. just want to know what you're going to be playing for Jack. Well, well, one of your labels that you're using that you seem to love to use is bands. I am no longer in a band. Tonight, I am presenting a musical project. I'm noise now. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? I used to be the prince of punk. I used to be the punk poet, the punk prophet. But now I'm just noise. A wall of noise that drowns out every hater in my life and anyone that's ever doubted me. Wow, uh, that sounds really impressive. I'm really eager to hear what you've got in store for us. Well, it's not just me. See, usually I'm the creative force behind every project that I take on. But this time, it's a collaboration. Yes, I, Craig Evan Helen, have found an artistic equal, and I'd like to intro I'd like to introduce you to her. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, who is she? Well, I'd like you to meet her. Hello? Come on out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. 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 It's um. I almost don't know how to describe her to you. She's the she's the Yoko Ono of the gutter, the Kim Gordon of pissing in public. <laughs> she doesn't even really have a name as far as I know. It's just her. We're both not into labels. Okay. <laughs> she's so not into labels that she doesn't even have a name. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Really amazing to have you guys here today. So, uh, just to be clear, you, this is not a punk band. This is this is noise. Um, I. You okay? Look, punk noise music. I, I hate these labels. The, the abstraction of non-imperial non-music. <laughs> it's not concerned with any particular public or audience. I mean, non-imperial non-music is its sort of like related to a proletariat, aristocratic ethic. I mean, alone it does what it says without distinguishing between kinds of people. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just curious. How do you think your audience is going to respond to uh, this new noise act of Look, yours? First, not noise. I said noise before because I was trying to dumb it down for you. <laughs> Look, non-imperial music is necessarily abstract noise. In this sense, it abstracts itself from all particularity and formalizes this gesture of abstraction. That's interesting. It, it, you know, it sounds extremely complicated and complex. You know, it sort of makes me want to take it apart, you know, the way one would, you know. I'll take it apart. Music, it's the sublime descent of the infinite to the finite abjectation of the body and sexuality. It's the production of an infinite subjective series through the finite means of a material subtraction. It can't merely be the expression of a particularly, be it ethnic or personal. Uh, it, it's the impersonal production of a truth that's addressed to everyone. It's the process of a truth. And this truth is always the sensible or the sensual. <laughs> and the sensible as sensible. This means the transformation of the sensible into a happening of the idea. It, there's necessarily a plurality of music. However we may imagine the ways in which music might intersect, there's no imaginable way of totalizing this 
plurality. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely understand the way that you talk about plurality almost reminds me sort of of the way that I would uh, approach a, a, like a Rubik's Cube. Um, <laughs> just in my own daily life. Well, you know? I just gave you a very complicated uh, uh, summation of music theory, and you just related it to a child's game. Well, it's not a child's game. I mean, you might be thinking of a Rubik's Cube. Uh, a Rubik's Cube, on the other hand, is a very advanced <laughs> novelty item. Well, d don't talk to me like I'm a child with autism. Jeez. Uh, okay, uh, Craig. It seems to me that there's a little bit of um, maybe distance in between you and your uh, collaborative partner. Oh, this? This is uh, artistic space? <laughs> when you have two people that are giant personalities, we need our space. But once you see us in action, you'll know that the space evaporates very quickly. Um, do you have anything to say to that? Uh, you over there? Did you want me to answer for you? I'm not Craig's girlfriend. <laughs> well, well, all right. <laughs> I didn't mean to imply that you were Craig's girlfriend. She's I, 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 did I tell you that she was? Okay. Well, all right. Um, you know, I'd be, uh, I'd be very interested to uh, hear a little bit of, of what you guys have in store for us. What do song you, do you uh, want to do? <laughs> okay, we're going to do Rites of Pain. Rites of Pain. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh, everyone, let's just give, uh, let's just give uh, these two a little bit of time to set up for rites of pain. I guess I just gotta plug in, you know, a few pedals. I gotta plug in my gear. Uh, he's got some <laughs> gear that he's gotta plug in, and uh, it appears that he also has to strap on some black gloves. I'm not sure the exact purpose of what the gloves would be for, maybe mechanical. Manipulating speed. pedals. Sure. <laughs> uh, so maybe he doesn't uh, sort of get like a, like a frictional uh, like finger burn, I imagine, from uh, the the knobs on the pedals. And, uh, oh, looks like he's also strapping on maybe some sort of silver mask, uh, which I guess must protect his face from the blinding light. Um, wow. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Okay. Take it away. You should do all kinds of freaky stuff, real freaky deaky stuff, crazy stuff that would make you get freaked out and say, whoa. Freaking me out, man. What can I say? Pretty creepy and twisted. Pretty can I get a little monitor? Stuff. Sick stuff, twisted stuff, do all kinds of creepy stuff. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty creepy. Did I creep you out? Did I disturb you? <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'm disturbed. Disturbed my brain. Disturbed my brain. Disturbed my brain. <laughs> Did I creep you out? Cause I'm a twisted kind of freak. Twisted kind of freak. Twisted kind of freak. Twisted kind of freak. I did it all for you. I'm creepy, huh? I'll show you creepy. I'll show you creepy like you've never seen. I'd say I'm one sick individual. Ah!
Thank you. Wow, wow. Really, really incredible performance from, you know what? I don't think I ever got you guys' name. What do you call yourselves? Um, I just came out of a really intense performance, and I'm going to ask you not to ask, ask me questions. <laughs> of course, I didn't mean to uh, intrude upon your artistic process. Um, hey, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Hey, Craig, Craig, Craig. I'm going to Subway. You want the usual? Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, another round of applause for our noise duo. Great job, you guys. But I think, it's, uh, I think it's, a, it's about time to continue on with our battle of the bands to introduce our next musical artist. You guys know him and love him. He used to be the lead singer of Monarch, but has recently uh, taken on a new role as a solo artist. He's uh, very prolific in the acoustic indie scene. Everyone, let's give it up for Gray. Uh, Gray. Um, it's really, really, uh, it's amazing to have you here. I've actually, uh, I've wanted to meet you for a long time. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I, hope, I hope I look and communicate as well as you imagined in your dreams. <laughs> uh, wow, I guess, you know, I guess we're just getting started, but I, I can already say I feel uh, I feel connection to you. I'm not surprised. Musicians are sort of teachers innately, and um, and so every gesture is a lesson that I'm sure you're receiving. You know, <laughs> I'll give you an A. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a really beautiful way to put it. You know, I, I've always thought of um, you know the guitar as sort of um, like a holy instrument. I agree, the acoustic guitar. <laughs> what do you mean? Electric guitar, which I used to play, I'm not, I'm not against it per se, um, but I think that the acoustic guitar holds more uh, moral power, um, more sophistication, and uh, innately more grace. If you want to call that holy, then I, I would certainly call grace holy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was I playing? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Did you just did you just make that up right now? Uh, I guess it came to me. Uh, did I make it up? Yes. <laughs> wow. I mean, I guess I'd, I'd be curious about you know where do you find inspiration? I mean. Have you ever looked at the tree and wondered, I wonder how many rings are inside of it, but I'd have to kill the tree to find out? What if I could kill the tree but keep it alive while still knowing what was going on inside of it? And if every acorn that came down gave me a kiss of what that knowledge was like? i think about that if it were a guitar riff. Wow, uh, man, I, I guess I'm curious. Uh, you know, you, you left Monarch. You had this thriving career. In a very popular rock Is it band. thriving if people are holding you back? I say no. <laughs> you know, is it, is it thriving if people say your words aren't uh, what we want? If your riffs aren't, aren't 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 pure enough? You know, those guys and they're great guys uh, innately, but they're not acoustic guitarists like me. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, it makes sense that you'd want to embark on a solo career when you're obviously so talented and. And inspired, you know, the way that I would say most musicians maybe aren't, you know, or, or organically. You're actually pretty smart, you know. I wasn't expecting that from an interviewer. You know? Please take that as a compliment. It's meant as one. I am. I'm sorry. I just, I just realized something. Um, your name, Gray. It's the same color as a. Rubis cube. cube. Oh my God. <laughs> You took the words right out of my mouth. Are you a Rubik's Cube fan, too? Question answered, friend. Great. <laughs> That was a song I just wrote about you. It's called Your Hair and Smile and Eyes. <laughs> what did it say? That was, that was it. Oh. I guess, I guess Gray, um, you know, you've probably brought in something, um, you know, really special to play for us today. I mean, after all, Jack White is watching. Um, yeah, I have a song I can play. Do you have something that you can yeah, yeah. share with us? <laughs> sure. Uh, please, hold my pick. Bye. 
you know, those guys need a stage, but I just need an audience. <laughs> Laughter and medicine, big man on campus in trouble again for the third time tonight. He partied harder than concrete and mortar when used to build buildings of outstanding heights. <laughs> oh, oh, big man on campus, oh, oh. Big man for sure, big man on campus, big man tonight. <laughs> yeah. Wow, round of applause for Gray. Um, wow, Gray, you are, are amazing. Uh, let's check in with Jack, let's see how he's feeling. Jack, any words for us? Encouragement for Gray. <laughs> you liked it. <laughs> you liked it. All right, I think we've got to move on. Gray, thank you so much for your performance. I'll be very curious to see how you do in Battle of the Bands. But now it's time to move along to uh, a really special band, Savak, their LP. Best of Luck in Future Endeavors is out now on the Comedy Minus One record label, and you can see them Thursday, August 25th at St. Vitus with Mile Marker. Everyone, Savak! Yeah!
think it's time to continue with our Battle of the Bands. Uh, we've really got an amazing artist coming up for you. It's, uh, their, their name is the original characters. And uh, we've got Steve and uh, Manolo. Come on out, guys. Give a round of applause. Here we go. Uh, wow, it's really, really amazing to have you guys here today. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of your music. Uh, you know, you know. First off, I, I'm just sort of curious. Original characters. Where, where did that name come from? We did the, uh, the dictionary, dictionary thing. thing. <laughs> you just kind of find two words in the dictionary. It was. Uh, we were very, very lucky that we landed on the word the. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, really amazing. And and what kind of music would you say you guys play? How would you describe your work? Kind of folksy, uh, sound waves, like the the internet symbol. It's like uh, like the Wi-Fi, like where the dot. Yeah. It's like uh, caterpillars giving each other um, piggybacks. They're like cheerleader, cheerleaders <laughs> doing the pyramid, but backwards or something. Yeah. I see that. I can. Uh, yeah. I totally get where you're coming from. I, I, I'm sorry. Just before we hear your performance, I have to bring up a story that I heard. Uh, I think it was on. Oh God, it was on some podcast. You guys were talking this amazing story about. Uh, an interaction that, uh, it was like applesauce, really. Like some strange, like, applesauce story. Oh, applesauce. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? I just feel like we, I feel like you have to repeat it. It's so yeah. insane. When you said applesauce, I thought, or a amazing story, I thought you were talking about the last episode of Game of Thrones. Because th that was an amazing oh, story. Oh, that was a really good story. Yeah. <laughs> Elric says the craziest things. Wow, yeah. I mean, I, I guess I, I personally, you know, I don't really watch Game of Thrones. I, I, I guess I'm more Looks interested in, 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 you know, y in you guys. You gotta see it. <laughs> um, yeah. God. We were riding uh, bikes in Brooklyn. Because the day was nice. It was a really nice day. Yeah. It was a tandem bike. We were riding the same bike. Yeah. We were really close. Super close, very small tandem bike. And then we went um, across an intersection. intersection. And then another bike, um, he passed it, but I didn't. And he went through, and uh, there's a hacksaw on the front of the bike. He had a saw on yeah. the bike. Our, our, <laughs> our tandem bike was made out of the wood that magicians used to cut women in half. <laughs> Um, next thing you know, Steve. We were on our way to the Mott factory to apply for jobs. I'm sorry, the, yeah. the, like the Mott's, the Mott's Mott applesauce Mott's factory? Yeah. When he said we, he meant him and the saw the guy. The saw guy. Because I was still on the ground. And they said we, they, we need two guys for the, f for the factory, and so I just. Yeah. One who's good at cutting apples. <laughs> and then he said, with a bike? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just corroborating because I was still on the floor. That's true. You weren't, but you weren't even there. The sun, <laughs> we could tell because we uh, marked this where the sun was at the time of the story. And then when he said that, I was um, looking at a cloud. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's. That's the story that I heard. That's the story that I heard. Uh, I think it's time though. We've actually gotta, we've gotta get you guys going. Uh, let's get you uh, set up. I'm so excited to hear what you guys uh, are gonna play for us. It's gonna be, uh, I guess, something that's uh, similar to uh, like the Wi-Fi sign. You know, something with uh, maybe caterpillars sort of stacked on top of each other. Um, you know, like cheerleaders. So uh, everyone, uh, let us know when you guys are ready. It's totally cool if you're nervous, by the way. Oh, wow. I think here we go. Original characters.
Wow, really, really incredible work. What happens uh, if you lose the game? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hey man, chill out. Everyone's growing with their process. I think you could have used some more solos or something a little more organic, but I think for what you were doing, it was kind of harmonic and kind of melodic. Um, good, nice start, nice start. Let's see, I'd love to see what happens when you guys evolve, so. <laughs> All right, original characters, everybody. All right, that marks three out of four of our contestants in today's Battle of the Bands, which means that we are ready to introduce our final contestants in this epic battle. They hail from Black Rock, Connecticut. Everyone, let's give a warm round of applause for the Trumpet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, wow. thank you so much for having us, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for driving all the way, uh, you drove from Connecticut? That's right, the traffic was a nightmare, thank you so much for the question. We are, our arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Daniel, yes. It is our first time on, uh, t speaking on television. <laughs> So, well, thank you. Well, you know, I know we don't have a ton of time for the interview, but I, I am curious to hear. I know you guys heard, or you won an award recently. Can you tell oh, us that's a right. About thank that? you so much for the question, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, we just actually uh, won the second place for uh, the best live recorded compact Connected. disc in Connecticut. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Mrs. Kepshar's first grade chorus. We'll get you next year. We'll get you next year. <laughs> so. All right. You look great tonight, by the way. Oh, me? Uh, well, uh... Ian, stop! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. Can't lock this Bengal tiger down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see that. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's get you guys uh, playing a little song. Jack White, of course, is here. Uh, he'll be judging the performance. I'm so excited to see what you've brought for us today. Jack White, more like Jack... Black. <laughs> <laughs> All right! Great. trained by the late, but not for dinner, Ralph Schmedvig of the Empire Brass. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Wow, wow. All right, well, uh, my name's Ian. I'm silly. I'm single. You get that? There's no ring. And sometimes, I'll be honest, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> One time, my dad took me on a boat. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, we're so excited to be here at this talent show Battle of the Bands competition. And we, uh, we're pacifists. We don't believe in, in battling. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ian. Uh, and I think you guys are going to recognize this song. <laughs> Without our mouthpieces? What? <laughs> now, what would that sound like without our lips? <sighs> I've 
to taking a breather before, but this is ridiculous. Now, what would it sound like if we were Charlie Brown teachers from that movie that got snubbed at the Oscars? <laughs> sound like if we were a group of monkeys or super apes who through years of medical testing all learned to speak English. Now, these monkeys or super apes all form societies and in these societies they learn to play, you got it, the trumpet. Now, one of their trumpet gatherings or super apes, they all decided to play the song Amazing Grace, but in their version of English, that's actually the song I like to move it, move it. Fists, we don't bow. we try not to bow. <laughs> All right, round of applause for the trumpet boys. Thank you guys so much. It was so wonderful to have you here. I, I'd really be curious to hear in this moment what Jack White has to say about our four lovely contestants. Jack? Anything to say, Jack? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm transforming. <laughs> it is I, Jack White. I have left my pale shell and come before you in the form of my humble human servant to deliver a fatal verdict. You have broken the eternal code, and now you must pay. You will never have a record deal on an indie label. You will never perform a sold out show at a mid-level venue for a crowd of Tom York fans. And you will never, ever visit me for a working lunch at the Blue Room, my performance space slash bar and restaurant in my adopted hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. You will not do any of these things. Instead, I banish you to the white void. Be gone. Oh my god. Jack White. What have you done to me? I think you guys should be afraid. You should be very afraid. You know, if you lose this competition, you don't know what Jack's capable of. You don't know! That's so sweet that you're concerned about us. <laughs> but I, uh, I think we can take care of ourselves, okay? Yeah. I think it's time for us to go to a commercial break. Uh, it's just gonna be two minutes of a black screen and it'll give you time to go on your phones, log on to glossy.com. Um, <laughs> check out that starter pack, it's really amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Guys, what's going on? I'm really freaked out. Jack is just going insane. He's not moving. He's not saying anything. I don't know what to do. Will you help me? Are we on break? Are we on commercial break? Yeah. Am I have tune? Am I have tune? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. <laughs> yes, you have. You see the guitar. Okay, you're a musician in New York City. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, believe it. Better believe what I just saw. I'm sorry. Are, you on? Are we alive? No. I just walked to the subway, but I got a little lost, and I ended up with all these big buildings and all these lights, you know, like kind of down like that way, kind of down that way. I think it was like 45th Street. Yeah. You'll never guess who I saw. Who? Cookie Monster. Oh. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to? It's it's thirty dollars to get a picture. What now. did I tell you about talking to me when my partner is here? Wait, is that the new girlfriend? <laughs> she does look like Joan Jett. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Look, she's. 
I think no I, labels. Hey, I labels. Gotta, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Labels see are that. stupid, right? Sure. <laughs> Bye, Craig. No labels. <coughs> hey, are you having a fine time? Yes, she is. <laughs> wow, speak for her. Do you real mature? <laughs> oh well, she doesn't like to. She's not the most talkative person. And sometimes I just have to fill in the kitty. Please not do that while I'm talking to you. It's maybe the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. Hey. Can you not do that while I'm talking to you? Sorry, I want something nice and soulful to, 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 to sound through my ears. Oh, the band's about to play. Oh. <laughs> Western traders landing on our shores, late night cretins knocking in our doors. Defenders of the glorious, feasted in our fields, lovers and the sidekicks, busy making deals. The Battle of the Bands. I, uh, you know, I took a break. Um, I splashed some cold water on my face. I'm feeling a lot better. So I think it's time for us to bring out our final two artists coming out here, Craig, and uh, you know, and and her name, uh, Gray. I know Gray. Come on out, you guys. It's time for us to do a little uh, lightning round. Yes. Did Jack White kill the the boring guys? Uh, uh, yeah. I suppose I sort of blacked out. I guess uh, you could say. Um, it seemed to me like in the moment, like uh, I was moving toward a white light, and um, and along with me were the trumpet boys and uh, the original characters. It seemed that they had been sucked into some other dimension or something. I don't I know. I just wanted to know if my competition was gone. Yeah, I guess it's down to you guys. Um, so what's this lightning round? Lightning round is very important. It's a time where you guys are going to be given a song to cover. That's right. I'm going to give you wait, Jack wait. White's. Well, uh, 
a song to cover? Yeah, you know, a, a song, you know, a song that we all we're, know and love. We're not a cover band, actually. Uh, yeah. We're a noise project, so we don't cover songs. We're not a bar band. I'm sorry, Craig, I can't change the rules to battle the bands. This is Third well, Man Records. Jack, this. cool dude to cool dude. Can we not do this? Can we just do an original composition? Oh, he's a, he's a little scary boy. I'm not scared. No, you're a little scary boy. Well, do you think I'm scared of you? I think you're scared to do a song. I think you're scared to do anything except for esoteric babbling. <laughs> oh, 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 how rich. Esoteric babbling. Then come on, play a song. I'll play. I'll play any song you ask me to play. All right. You, you, are you okay with this? This is a collaboration, so if you say that you're not okay with this, then he's not making a fool of me. It's just you being uncomfortable. Fine. All right, uh, I guess it's time for us to find out what is the song that you guys are going to be covering. And, uh, oh, I'm getting something fr uh, from Jack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wagon Wheel. Sued. The song is Wagon Wheel. <laughs> Gray, uh, do you want to take the stage? Let's, Wait, uh, what the fuck is Wagon Wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think you're going to recognize it. Gray, can you uh, show us how it's done? Down south, land of the pines, strumming my way, and in North Carolina, stir up the road. I swear to God, I see headlights. Woo! Let's just call the chorus. Ha <laughs> ha! Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Ha <laughs> ha! Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Oh, hey. Mama rock me. Clap along. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ruined what would have been the cool song into another cool solo. So. Great. Everyone give it up for Gray. Wow, that was a truly remarkable performance, but you know, it's time for So uh, now we he picks a song that we could do, maybe something by Alan Vega. Uh, let me just check in with Jack. Uh, Nope, it's Wagon Wheel. <laughs> hey, babe, you wanna you wanna plug in the lights? You see, uh, what you don't have is that you're a solo artist, okay? We're a collaborative project, okay? We are partners. We are teammates. We are. are we're, we're, we're a unit, we're lovers, she's no! my girlfriend. <laughs> Now's not the time. Come on and let's manipulate these pedals to sound like that song. Right? What, can you please do something? You know, look, I feel like I'm doing all the work here. 
This is a collaboration, so Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, this guy sounds like this guy sounds like a real dick. Why did you say I'm not your boyfriend? <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> Do you even know this song? And you didn't even plug in the strobes. I'll fucking do it. Listen! Do you hear it? In silence. Comes the true music. <laughs> oh. Here. The hum of the amplifiers. Craig, you're not my boyfriend. <laughs> Listen to the emptiness. That's you, Craig. Wagon wheel, everybody. <laughs> um, wow, I, uh, I certainly uh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, really uh, an amazing performance. I, I think our lightning round is over, which means it's now time to hear from Jack White. Jack White, who do you think won the competition? Jack White has chosen a winner of the Battle of the Bands, and that winner is Craig and his noise duo! Yes! Yes! They've won! Yes! Wow. Yes! An amazing In your beat. face! In your face, oh. you granola motherfucker! <laughs> it's a complete upset, really. I, I, wow, you guys. I did it! It's amazing. I did it! And you guys are, are going to win a record deal with Third Man Records, Jack White's record label. It's really incredible. All we need from you two at this point is the name of your band. What is the name of your band? Babe? It's time to decide on a label. I know you're not too fine of them, but I think we've just proven that uh, whatever this is, it works. Geniuses like it. <laughs> Any of the names that we talked about? Sad Sadist? <laughs> Defoshisten? <laughs> ah, come on. We've got to come up with something Short fast. Class, that means gravity in German. And unfortunately, if you don't come up with a name, you I will have to, I'm gonna have to give over the record Christ deal child, to Gray if you don't come up with a name lies, right now. Near, Hurry! Not Commando, Pain Armada, Brule, you love Brule. <laughs> Can I name a band? You can't name the band. Unfortunately, the deal goes to Gray. No! Gray wins. Congratulations, Woo! Gray. I like to play. Thank you. I like to play my new song I wrote right now. It's called Sweat. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Sweat. S sweat. Sweat. Two, three, four. OK, 
Okay, 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 okay. Big boy, big boy. <laughs> big boy. Big boy, little scary parents, big boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Little uh, scary parents, big boy. Craig, do you have a problem with Gray winning the uh, Battle of the Bands? Yes. Yes, I do. Jack, you're looking at a Seven Nation Army of One right here. <laughs> and this will go on. This will go down in history as, as, as your big blunder. This is, this is your Brexit, okay? <laughs> Brexit? Wait, you, you always talk about not knowing what's going on in the government. You say you've never read a newspaper in your life. <clears throat> How do you know about Brexit? I keep informed. She's, she's a really smart girl. She teaches me about stuff. <laughs> Dude, you can't learn anything from a partner. You can only learn from your craft and your instrument. You know what? You and I were kind of similar. Do you want to be a part of my record deal? No. <laughs> Dan, Darren, guys. You're rehired. Bananas is back together. It's yes. time to take down phonies like you. Yeah. Did we get the record deal with the uh, shiny witch man over there? <laughs> Did we get the deal? Did we get the deal? Did we get the deal? Yeah. What if she joins the band? <sighs> take me to Subway. Oh. Let's get you. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Bye. <laughs> Taking a look at the special. I'm really excited that you're all going to get a chance to uh, find out more about Glossier products. Um, they've got some really amazing creams and lotions. I really advise you to check them out if you can. Um, but really more important than that is um, it's the Rubis Cube. I, um, I'd like you to learn more about it, and I don't know what I have to do to emphasize to you all that the Rubik's Cube is the future, okay? Now, this isn't, this isn't the colorful block you guys all know and love from childhood, okay? This is something different. This is a gray box, okay? It weighs two tons, it's bolted to the ground. You can't take it anywhere. But you need it, okay? So I just want you to find out more about the Rubik's Cube. All the information is available online. Uh, Rubik'sCube.com. Thank you guys so much. This has been special. <laughs> Okay, hey, Gray, could you uh, take us out? Sure. <laughs> Sweat. Sweat. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> Sweat, 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 and you never sweat, but and that's sweat. <laughs> oh, sweat. Yeah, sweat. Huh? Sweat. And sweat. And sweat. JK, sweat. <laughs> sweat.
sweat, 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 sweat,